Welcome guys, as the curtain comes down for 2022, I want to walk you through all the milestones that SpaceX achieved and the progress that they made this year. Some figures will blow your mind, and I will also talk about what lies ahead for Elon Musk's SpaceX and his dream of making humans a multi-planet species. Let's also talk about a few of the goals that SpaceX might be looking to achieve in 2023. So, please spare a few minutes and watch the video till the end. Before I start the video, I really want to thank all of you who subscribe to my channel and regularly watch my videos. I am also extremely thankful for the few channel memberships on my channel. Thank you for your continued support, it means a lot to me, and your support allows me to continue creating and sharing videos that we all are passionate about. If you also want to become a member of the channel, please click the join button. First, let me guide you to all the numbers that SpaceX achieved in the last 12 months. In 2022, SpaceX continued to push the boundaries of space exploration and commercial spaceflight by launching the world's first privately funded mission to the space station. SpaceX successfully launched a record-setting 61 missions in 2022 alone out of which, three were crewed missions to the space station and 32 dedicated Starlink missions and 24 other commercial missions including two rideshare missions. That is almost equal to launching a rocket every six days from one of its three launch sites. A total of 17 Falcon 9 first stage boosters were used to support the 61 missions. Let me give you a chart to have a clear idea of how many times each booster flew. Booster B-1062 was the most flown booster of 2022 which supported eight different missions. Booster B-1058 also set a record for being SpaceX's most flown orbital class rocket in Falcon 9 family. This year, we also saw the fourth and the only Falcon Heavy mission of the year after its last flight back in 2019. Both the side strap boosters landed back on land at Landing Zone 1 and Landing Zone 2 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, but the center core booster was expended. Talking about booster landings, SpaceX managed to recover all of its first stage boosters except three boosters which were expended in order to provide extra performances on their missions. At the moment, SpaceX is the only aerospace company in the world that uses reusable rockets. But is the SpaceX chief, Elon Musk happy about wasting the rocket's second stage? Technically, we can say, Falcon 9 is not a fully reusable rocket. That is true because SpaceX doesn't recover the second stage because of many reasons. As other companies are now also focusing on building fully reusable rockets, what is SpaceX's answer to it? Well, Elon Musk revolutionized the space industry by introducing reusable rockets and thereby reducing the cost per launch. But SpaceX's ambition lies far beyond that. The company is in the progress of developing the world's biggest and most powerful rocket, the Starship a rocket that is rapidly and fully reusable which will take humanity to Mars and beyond. The debut flight of this giant rocket made out of steel was supposed to be in this year but it has been delayed to the first half of next year. Starship is a completely new rocket and with that comes a complex system to launch the rocket. The Starship launch system consists of two important parts, Stage 0 and the Orbital Launch Integrated Tower. As the Starship program is in its developmental phase, it will always be evolving with a lot of tweaks and design changes. The launch platform, known as the orbital launch mount itself is undergoing several changes every couple of weeks. This year, SpaceX conducted a total of nine static fire tests on the Starship rocket, six on the Super Heavy Booster 7 and three on Starship S-24. Booster 7 and S-24 are likely to be the first Starship to fly to orbit because SpaceX has worked so hard on these two rockets for almost the entire year. With Booster 9, a more advanced booster showing up at the launch site and completing its cryogenic proofing test. The future of Booster 7 and S-24 is now in doubt. I hate to say this, but the South Texas launch site is not yet ready to support a test flight mission. A lot of work still needs to be done. The concrete underneath the orbital launch mount blew up and the debris rained all over the launch site during the latest static fire test. So, it's in no way capable of withstanding the heat and pressure of 33 engines firing up all at once. They are redoing the concrete work and still we don't know if it can survive the next static fire test. But eventually SpaceX will find the solution. The orbital launch integrated tower also needs a lot of cladding to protect its critical parts during the liftoff. 
to answer more on why we didn't see the Starship orbital test flight in 2022. Well, SpaceX may have passed the cowboy phase of launching a Starship and blowing up on landing. Now they want to be careful and not blow up critical components of the launch site. We never know what SpaceX's next move will be. They may delay the test flight in order to prepare for an attempt to catch either the booster or the ship during its debut flight. With all being said and done and when SpaceX masters the launch of Starship, it's game over for its competitors because SpaceX will start offering launch services at much cheaper prices. Reusability reduces the cost of launching satellites and that is why more customers choose SpaceX over others and SpaceX's mission success rate was 100% in 2022. To support Starship launch services once Starship becomes operational, construction of two more Starship launch sites is already in progress. The first Starship launch site in Florida is being constructed at Launch Complex 39A inside the Kennedy Space Center next to historic Pad 39A. The stacking of the tower had already been completed and installation of chopstick arms and other equipment could begin early next year. The tower segments for the other. Third launch site have sitting at the SpaceX Roberts Road facility. The second Starship production site in addition to the one in Texas could be ready here in Florida in 2023. So, before we end, let's talk about what goals might SpaceX be aiming to achieve in 2023. Back in August, Elon already said SpaceX will be aiming to increase its launch counts up to 100 flights in 2023, which translates to about two launches per week. That's a crazy, insane number but not impossible for SpaceX. SpaceX will also attempt to conduct the first Starship orbital test flight mission in the first half of 2023. Some people argue that NASA and FAA are causing delays in the Starship test flight mission but sadly, that is not the truth. NASA has already awarded two lunar Starship missions as part of the Artemis program. SpaceX is a major partner for the whole Artemis program and NASA is not going to the moon with its SLS and Orion spacecraft without the actual rocket that will land humans back on the lunar surface after the Apollo era, some 50 years ago. The Polaris Dawn mission is also scheduled to launch sometime in March 2023. This will be such a historic mission in many aspects and it will travel to a 500 km orbit, over 310 miles, above the Earth and the greatest distance from Earth since the Apollo missions. I hope you enjoyed this short recap video and if I missed anything, please comment down below and you can also give some feedback so that I can improve next year. Thank you for your continued support, have a happy new year and 2023 is going to be a year filled with excitement and challenges. Bye for now.